Today, we're going grocery shopping to show you what you can buy and eat on a keto diet. Will you join me? You know, it's not the least expensive, not the most expensive, but it's somewhere where I shop regularly. Have certain foods that you like. There might be a special store that has it, but you don't have to buy all the other things there. Uh, so uh, why don't you join me? I'll show you how to eat on a keto diet. Any of these vegetables would be fine. I'm gonna pick up some celery, garlic, onions, and, and cauliflower for a recipe I'm working on. And some beef. Avocados would be great, tomatoes as well. I'm not getting them today though. We're gonna pass on the grapes. Don't, you don't need those. A good choice, the meat already cooked. Especially if you live by yourself, cooking only for yourself. The rotisserie chicken, the ribs, they're all pre-cooked. You just take it home. Ah, one of my favorites, the prosciutto. Any of these ol olives would be fine. Now I'm a bit of a, a I like cheese. Grew up in Wisconsin, lots of great cheeses. Any of these would be fine. They're even making new foods. We'll talk about these a lot. Some are great, some are not. They, you can make cheese crisps on your own or, or get these parm crisps. They have less than one gram per, per serving. But, and one ounce is a serving. There are two servings per container. And that's how we'll do it. You'll look at the total carbs you look at the serving size and then determine how much of it you'll have. These are pretty tasty, although I prefer the um, sour cream and onion. I'll, I'll grab a couple of these. So I, one way to get a lot of variety is I mix up the cheeses. You know, I haven't had the Baby Bells for a while, so I'm going to grab some of these. But cheese is a great way to have variety on a keto diet. Alcohol is not forbidden, you just have to watch the amount. And so I'm going to get a, um, a couple bottles for the week of red wine. That's uh, what I like. Um, you might have a beer, a light beer, or, or a hard liquor shot or two. Most people can have that up to you know, one drink per day and be consistent with losing weight or reversing diabetes on a keto diet, and that's what we're talking about. About a keto diet that can be simple and easy and reverse these metabolic problems. Um, so let's keep moving. Here we are at the, the meat counter, and pretty much all of this is, is fair game on a keto diet. You wanna be careful if they're crab cakes, if they used carbs to, to uh, hold the crab cake together. A lot of people use pork rinds on their own to make their own crab cakes or uh, salmon cakes, that sort of thing. But just look at the beautiful foods you could have on the keto diet. Uh, today, I, I'm more in the market for, for something on the aisle, but these are fantastic. So I don't really want to do a lot of cooking this week, so um, I'm just going to get the, the express shrimp platter. Wow, doesn't that look good? Most spices are fine on a keto diet because they don't have carbs in them, unless they've added sugar to them. So obviously something like cinnamon sugar would be not allowed, but any of these spices are fine. Salad dressings, you wanna choose blue cheese, Caesar, and ranch. The other ones are a little high. In terms of coffee, coffee has no carbs unless you add carbs to it. So I'm going to choose a, a great keto coffee, which is really just black coffee. <laughs> Now be careful of these new keto junk foods. Here we are, and it says keto friendly double chocolate cake mix. Don't have this. Uh, the total carbs is um, 34. So always look at the total carbs, not the carbs on the front. Net carbs is often there. You wanna look at the total carbs on the Nutrition Facts label. Any oil is really fine. Um, I like to use olive oil and um, 
I would say any of these would be acceptable. I'm not too choosy. But first we're gonna stay away from the nuts, okay? No nuts, no nut butter, no nut flours. So let's go right past these guys. Jerky is a great option now. Sometimes they add sugar to it, so be careful. Always look at the back of the label. Here it has eight carbs per serving. One serving is about a third of the container. So that's kind of high, but you can get jer jerky that's low or if you just had one or two pieces, that'd be good. Everyone has to have chocolate, I know. So one way to get chocolate is to get the either sugar-free chocolate or some chocolate shakes that I'll show you. But also what I choose is a very small piece of chocolate every day if I can find it. Um, because I grew up with these kinds of mints, I'll have just one of these every night. Total carbs, six total carbs for two pieces. So I'm getting three total carbs per mint. Zero total carbs for the pork rinds. It's really kind of the chip substitute on a keto diet. This is a particularly good brand. Drinks, soft drinks, is that what they are? No, sugar sweetened beverages, yes. Any diet soda is fine. Has zero carbs. I'm not gonna choose any soda today, but sometimes I'll have uh, like a, a diet Mountain Dew or something and you look at total carbs, zero grams, you're good interesting sodas that are made with stevia. One, the one, one of them that I like is a product called Zevia. And again, look at the total carbs. Total carbs, zero grams, you're good to go. Don't worry about the amount. Now over here you can see eggs. I think eggs are the perfect food. Don't worry about eating too many eggs. You can't. And we were all taught you couldn't eat eggs and you should limit them. It's not true. On a keto diet you can eat all the eggs you want down the frozen foods, uh, I'm afraid there's no keto ice cream yet. You know, when, when it really turns out to be keto, I will be the first one to say it, because you'll see some that are marketed as keto. Look, it says keto French ice cream, but, but when you look at the total carbs, it's 16 per serving. Look at the serving size. The serving size is two thirds of a cup. My goodness. So if you can um, stay to you know, this much of your ice cream, then you get, uh, let's see, how many total carbs again? 16 total carbs. So if you're trying to stay under 20 grams of carbs a day, stay away from these keto named ice creams. They're just not low enough yet. Now this keto ice cream has 17 total grams per serving. A serving is two thirds of a cup. It's still too high. It's still too high if you're trying to do a prescription strength keto diet. If you look at yogurts, here's a brand that has 28 total carbs per serving and the serving is one container. That's kind of high. Here's a brand that has five grams of carbs per serving and the serving is the total container. So 28 grams versus five grams. That one's better. For chocolate, one thing you can do is just have little swigs of a protein shake like this. This is a popular brand that has five grams for the whole, whole container, but why not just have a swig and put it back in the refrigerator? You don't need to to glug the whole container of, of chocolate. It's really just for the chocolate taste. If you want to stay away from this chip aisle, really nothing down here. A lot of people like bars and they're quick and easy, but you gotta be careful. I mean, something like a, uh, uh, I don't, don't know whose bar that is, but it has 14 grams of carbs, which wouldn't be a great idea on a prescription strength keto diet. It might be okay if you're at your goal um, as an alternative, but I prefer that you eat real food, not fake foods. And this one um, has 21 grams for the bar. The serving size is one, always check the serving size is one bar. So you'd wanna minimize these. If you do want bars, you might check out the Adapt products, the, our products at adapterlife.com. 
because we do have keto mini bars that truly are low in carbs. Goodness, at the checkout, there's all these carbs, but oh, there's actually some beef jerky. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is one way to shop and eat on a keto diet. Certainly not the only way. They're, it's so flexible and so delicious. I hope you give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And check out adapterlifeacademy.com.